Hello, I'm Dr. Chavi Mehra, Chief Medical Officer at Sugarfin, and today we will talk all about insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a condition in which the cells, especially of skeletal muscle and liver, do not respond to the insulin levels in your body. Insulin is a hormone produced by the beta cells of your pancreas, and when the skeletal muscles and the liver does not respond to insulin, the glucose metabolism in your body gets affected and you have high sugar levels. Many syndromes are associated with insulin resistance like glucose intolerance, pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, obesity, metabolic syndrome and we all know PCOD. Insulin resistance is mainly affected by two factors. One is excess body fat, especially around your belly and lack of physical activity. Individuals with insulin resistance can have certain symptoms like the darkened patches in your armpit, in your neck, in your back called acanthosis migrans. Skin tags at various places can show up. You can have some headache, fatigue, tiredness and also if you are becoming pre-diabetic you can have blurred vision. So be wary of these symptoms, they are characteristic of insulin resistance. Causes of insulin resistance, as we talked about, were many. Let's go over them one at a time. Like excess body fat. What does excess body fat do? The fat connects around the organs in your abdomen and does not let them function does not let the cells of your liver or the fat between your skeletal muscles respond to the insulin or let the insulin do its action. Fat connection around the organs does not allow the cells to respond to the insulin. And what does that do? It does not let insulin do its work, which is taking the sugar from the bloodstream inside the cells. And as a result of it, the sugar levels in your bloodstream get higher. And this leads to pre-diabetes and diabetes. The second cause of insulin resistance is physical inactivity or sedentary lifestyle. When we are physically inactive, we tend to gain weight. We tend to gain fat around our bellies. And that causes us also to become resistant to the insulin in our body. But when we are physically active and when we are exercising, the muscles of our bodies are utilizing the sugar or glucose in our blood as a substrate for energy. And as a result of it, we consume the sugar. The muscles also, the physical activity also helps the reduction of insulin resistance and higher insulin sensitivity. A 45 minute daily workout of physical activity where your heart rate is at least 70% of your maximum heart rate is considered as a good physical exercise to reduce insulin resistance or to even abolish insulin resistance. The third reason for insulin resistance is the kind of diet you consume. So remember highly processed, high simple carb foods will cause a major spike as soon as you eat in your glucose levels. And as a result of it, there will be more stress on your pancreas to make more insulin. And if you are already inactive and overweight or if your insulin resistance or sensitivity is any way down, this will cause higher insulin levels and worsening of insulin resistance. So stay away from highly processed, simple carbs in your diet. Some other reasons for insulin resistance are medications like steroids, like anti-epileptics. You can have some hormonal disbalances like hypothyroidism. And also you can have some genetic syndromes in which you can have insulin resistance. Certain situations predispose you to insulin resistance. For example, excess body weight, obesity, 45 years or older, first degree relative like a parent or a sibling with diabetes, and sedentary lifestyle. There are certain medical conditions also along which might predispose you to insulin resistance like hypertension, hyperlipidemia, hypothyroidism, sleeping disorders like sleep apnea, past history of gestational diabetes, coronary artery disease and strokes. Smoking and lastly, 
ethnicity like ours, the South Asian community has a very high incidence of insulin resistance. To summarize this all, we might not be able to get away from certain risk factors like genetics or our age, but we can help to prevent developing insulin resistance by eating healthy food, by exercising daily and maintaining an ideal body weight. Now if someone has insulin resistance, all they have to do is to eat healthy, to maintain their body weight and do regular physical exercise and you might be able to reverse the condition fully. Next time, I will bring to you all about prediabetes and the science of reversing it. Have a great day.